Hello, my name is Harry. I'm 16 years old. I study at a master English center and I have a test, speaking test with my teacher, Jay. Hello, Harry. Hello, teacher. How are you doing today? I'm okay. How about you? I'm great, thank you. Uh, Harry, let me ask you some personal questions before we start, okay? Okay. Okay, Harry, tell me, what's your favorite hobby? Uh, for me, I prefer uh, reading books and playing video games on my hobby, to my hobby. Okay, and why do you like video games? Uh, for teenagers like me, we spending time for video games for many purposes. Uh, for example, release uh, stress or uh, having a great time with friends. Alright. So tell me, what kind of books do you read? Uh, I really like novel and manga, which is really interesting. That is my cup of coffee. Okay. Alright, let's start our this, okay? Now let's talk about video games first. Mm, which video games do you play? Do you like them? Mm, for me, I really love Cooking Mama. Uh, in this game, we are control a character and make a dish that from your own materials and you can make anything you want. Okay. And uh, which device do you prefer playing the game? Video game? Mm, absolutely phones because it's much more convenient and easy to carry, carry with. Instead of uh, PC or laptop, they are too heavy for me. Okay. Mm, can you tell me what are the connections between violence in video games and violence in real life? So, uh, <clears throat> if people play too much uh, violence game, they can mimic the action and like killing and murder and be a murder. Okay, and how is it, is it to become addicted to video games? So people are spend too much time on video games for really stress and just for fun. So they really easy to be addicted to video games. Addicted. Okay. Addicted. Do you think teenagers should spend a lot of time playing video games? Uh, absolutely not because they can have many problems with the health and maybe uh, it can affect their daily life effect effect okay mm, why do you think gaming has become so popular uh, gaming very are popular because they are the training people play it like uh, from the suggestion from their friends and play for fun. Okay, let's move on to the next topic. Okay, look at these two pictures and can you tell me the similarities and differences between these two pictures? It's a similar to two similarity. Pictures. Similarity to, to this picture is they are cooking and the differences is. The uh, picture one is the cooking with a friend and having time together. Uh, not like a chef, they have to do their work and be very stressful. Okay. Mm, what do you think people must feel on these both situations? In first situ situation, they are much more relaxed and having time, great time together instead of doing at a shelf uh, they have to do they have to do their uh, work and feel a bit stressed okay have you ever been in this situation before no i haven't okay would you enjoy them if you are in this situation uh maybe because uh, we all feel really happy because uh, when you spend time with friends. Okay. 
All right. Let's move on to our next topic, reading. Okay. So you like reading, right, Eric? So how do you choose your books to read? Sometimes I get some suggestions from my friend, and maybe the theme of the book will be pretty good, so I choose them to read. Okay. Mm. Do you read books online? Uh, for Zen Z like me, we uh, always spend time to uh, screen, to read, read on screen on the screen on the screen. Okay. So, do you prefer reading online or by the physical book? Uh, I prefer reading online because uh, instead of going to the library or somewhere to get the book, I could stay home and enjoy the book. Okay. Mm. Tell me, how important is it for children to start reading book at early age? Mm, they can take many advantage for reading at a young age. Uh, such as uh, improve their knowledge and writing skills. Okay. What do you think young people can learn from reading fictional books? Fictional book. Uh, I think they can improve their imaginations and think logical. Logically. Think logically. logically. All right. Let's move on to the next chapter. Okay, holiday. Let's talk about holiday. Mm. Is it a good idea to go somewhere in the holidays? Mm, absolutely yes. Uh, you can uh, have a holiday after a a long day with work or school, and find somewhere to enjoy yourself, to be relaxed. Okay. How can a holiday can be without family can be good for you? I really prefer alone. So going somewhere with our family is something that not really uh, strained me. Uh, I can do everything I want and go anywhere I could. Okay. Uh, tell me, Harry. Mm, what do you think about working hard then? What do you think about working hard then? From my perspective, uh, while enjoying the holiday, uh, I can work too, so uh, I can get some money and enjoy some experiences at the place uh, I get to. Okay. Is it a good idea for teenagers to earn and save money? Is it a good idea for teenagers to save to earn and save money? Uh, I quite agree with this because um, they can know the precious of money. Okay. They can know the value of money. Okay, all right. Thank you so much, Harry. That's all for me. Okay. Hello, everyone. I'm Peter J from Amos Fitness Center, and this is my student, Harry. He is one of the smartest students, and he is very intelligent as well. But uh, he uses the vocabularies, idioms, the phrases very, very well. But he has to improve his intonations and sentence stress the most. Mm. He also needs to improve his sentence structures like prepositions in proper place. For now, that's all. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Bye, Harry.